Okay, this is my first attempt at a video showing the process of fading on this uh, Forge World Kill Burst of Tank. As you can see, I've painted it very much in the color scheme of Bad Moons. Um, I've got both it and um, a, a large tank going at the same time. However, uh, I'll just need one tank to actually show how this process works. Anyway, uh, there's the tank itself. Um, there's my paint tray along with the different oil colors I'm planning on using, uh, along with uh, two brushes that you can see here. Um, also, uh, they're thinners. Now, I've got two different types. I'll probably I'll just use one, more likely the Taltine on, on the right, but basically it's white spirit of some sort, so uh, MIGS thinner for washes, or in this case, uh, Taltine. Either way, both of them, well, the MIGS smells a little bit, but the, uh, the Taltine certainly doesn't, uh, but as you can see, very poisonous. But anyway, this is just my beginning setup. Uh, I'm just going to stop the video and uh, move on to the next, uh, onto the next stage and get this set up and ready. Okay, just a few moments later, I've now set this up, and as you can see, I actually have here. I've actually uh, put oil paints out, um, and just from here, that's titanium white. Uh, the next color is parchment. Then. Um, yellow, yellow ochre, and then uh, Abeltongues, or however you pronounce that uh, 502 line, is uh, their color is dark, is dark rust. Uh, and this is to give just a, a good uh, smattering of colors. And also here you might notice, uh, just in, uh, in these two trays, that I actually have put uh, thinner right, right in it. Uh, one will be used to wash the brush, and the other will be used to wet the brush when it, when it comes time for this. So, now I'm just going to take a moment to snap this into my makeshift stand, and hopefully this will work. I'm just aiming this so that you can see, see the tank and its surface. Just going to angle that down a little bit, hopefully. able to see the entire tank in progress. Right, now, first things first, taking a small brush, I then uh, take just a little bit, I'm going to start with the, the, the parchment color, uh, mostly because this is probably the one that I'll be using the most, just applying some small dots on the upper parts of the model. Just doesn't have to be a lot, just has to be in uh, in a couple places, basically wherever there's highlights, um, just dots here and there, and uh, it's intended to to really give us a, a sense of uh, highlights in 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 places, but also this is to give uh, a sense of wear and tear for the armor. So I can uh, I continue with um, just the parchment here. Here and there, a little more over this way, there, up on top, and notice I'm not going too far up underneath there. I'm going to use a different color for that because that's intended to be more of a more of a shade. Just a couple in along here, and we should be good to go in a bit. However, um, then I just wash it off the brush, get a little bit of wipe, and then now I'm going to add in a little bit of uh, just a little bit of yellow, because of course this is primarily a yellow tank, but the parchment is to show the wear and tear, so the yellow just goes on. I'm going to tuck a little more yellow up under here, and just a little bit. Yes, I'm even putting a bit of yellow right on top of the Bad Moon symbol there. Uh, you'll see how that works, because this the nice thing about working uh, working with oils is that these eventually um, will just simply uh, simply fade away, um, but you're not supposed to completely wash the the paint off. So just interspersing this, generally keeping this more in the slightly darker areas, um, including down around here and out in front. Um, now, I just realized I probably should put a little bit more parchment colors there. Uh, okay. 
Again, a little bit more yellow here, there, just. Yeah. And again, not too much. I, some this is, if anything, there's a fault that I have. Now a little bit of yellow ochre is going to go up under here. No, that's probably a little much. There, and just some of the sh shadowy areas here, there, and here, and a little lower down. Part of it's just trying to get a good sense of how this is uh, how this is going to look. Um, you know. And then lastly, well, not quite last, because I do want to come back with the white. It's just right up in these corners and these dark, shadowy areas, right in the corners here. That's where I want to just get a little bit of the much much darker rust so just in along here we'll see how this looks okay just getting a little bit more underneath and just to follow the cord even though that's more to emphasize some shading a little bit although some of it will take it's just general the idea is to create a overall look of um, armor that isn't just fresh out of the factory uh, a little bit more parchment here and now um, I'm going to use a little titanium white now working with titanium white and oils is t white is very is a very strong very powerful color um, much more so than the parchment so it doesn't fade away as um, uh, it, it doesn't disappear quite as much as we would like it um, but we'll just see it's just intended as a very light dot right now this part is done the next part take that brush set it down take the larger the larger brush actually I am going to switch this to a brush that you actually have because this is um, Something that I've I have been uh, using, but I think I'm just going to go. Um, this is a uh, actually no. Scratch that. I'm just going to stick with this. Now take this brush and then dip it in the cl in the um, in the uh, thinner that hasn't been used. And this is where this is where it begins to work. You apply it and start doing downward strokes lightly, but you don't want to blend too much. Just. And just you just want the dots to just lightly disappear and let the thinner do its job just wash out the brush a little bit add a little bit more thinner and keep running going and it's just it's a downward downward motion see downward motion yep some of that you can see some of that now the nice thing about working with oils is that Oils take a long time to dry, and if it looks like you messed something up, just add more thinner. And again, just come down here. A little bit more. Just up. And then I continue to work my way down. Again, just light... Just a light touch. Let the let the let the thinner do its work. Up in the corners here. Down. Down we go. Okay. Now the, the key thing is that it, you don't want too much, but you don't want too little. The dots have to basically just disappear. You can see here there's a little bit of a dot still left. Hopefully the camera picks this, how subtle some of this is. Now I'll be taking some better pictures once this dries so that you can see the overall effect of once it's, it has uh, been completed but 
this process really does add a lot of flavor to the feel to the feel and then the nice thing is also if if I've gone along and I realize that you know maybe there's more that I should have added I can always come back add a little bit more a little bit more oil paint um, the other thing that I'm doing here is I'm just using the brush to soak up any excess thinner that is here and the last of the dots right here Just into that corner, up here, and lastly, but not least, right. Okay, so there's an example of how just using the brush to soak up some of the extra thinner. Whoops. Um, also, count on the fact that any lesson that I'm going to give is I'm definitely going to drop a brush or something uh, in that nature. So now, time to just simply let uh, let this dry. Um, I may work on some of the other surfaces, but uh, for the time being, I'm just going to disconnect the camera and uh, shut it down for now. In these last couple pictures, it shows how the fading has worked. As you can see, it is much more subtle than you might think. But in these pictures, it has shown how. Um, the fading makes it look more uh, akin to worn out armor uh, as opposed to a fresh paint job from the factory, which is what a fading is intended to do. Things like chipping and other weathering forms, including washes and what have you, that comes later.